Okay, we're going to put this, what we did, we soldered this ahead of time. And what you want to do is make get your plastic on there first. And then you nut it. And we got rubber here. Now what we need to do is flux this. Got it nice and clean. Oh wow, a lot of flux. You don't need very much flux. Because we put it on the pipe and the fitting as well. Okay, this is already fluxed. What I'm going to do is get that in there. Slide it over here. Get that started by hand. This is for our expansion tank. We're going to kind of, well, you want to keep it away from this, but. We're going to 90 this up. You want it, um, yeah, 18 inches where we're at here in Missouri, uh, the code. And you want your shutoff, uh, your tank in between your shutoff and your water heater. So that's how you get the dielectric on there. Don't forget your rubber. But after we get everything in, we'll, we'll snug these down. All right, so he's going to clean the 90. And then we'll figure how high we gotta go up. Let's see. Let's see. Eighteen inches. Okay, that's to here. So it's ten inches up. So Seven or eight more. Yeah. So what is that? Eight more. Nineteen. Or yeah, yeah, nine. Yeah, make it nine. Okay, so let me see the ninety. Okay. I want to make sure you get these good and clean. He's been in my truck for a while. A little oxidation going on. I'm going to clean these real well. And cuts that patina off of there. I'm going to get a good solder joint. That's pretty good. Flex. And then we get this. Uh, the trick is to have that nice and straight, but we're going to do a dielectric union up here. So we have, on the, on the one end, we have to uh, sweat on our brass piece. Oops. Okay, we'll double check that before we sweat. So you probably want your shut off spun kind of away from your expansion tank. Right here's good. Let's get that uh, other side of that dielectric ready. So what we do a pre solder that. sweat that ahead of time. You don't want to be sweating that up in the air like that. Uh, 
Let me show you that later. I think we're going to get an extra light. We just have two lights. I don't know, my eyesight's not what it used to be. So I'm going to flex this. I can't remember. I, I thought I got 100 watt bulbs, but they're. I guess that's fairly bright. It's LED probably. So he's going to clean that real good. Inside of this. Grab the um, solder. I've burned myself a couple times. It's part of the gig. That cool for a minute or two. Right. Oh, it's still hot. If you go to wipe it and your solder moves real easy, let it cool a little bit more because you don't want to move that fitting off and on. Set up for half inch. Huh? Probably won't be using them on this one. Get it spun. Anyhow, we're waiting for that to cool. That's a deal. And if you find one of these on the floor pointing up, spin it the other way. You don't want to step on these either. Doesn't feel too good. If you have tennis shoes on. Oh boy. So we're going upstairs now. Okay, now we got we can't forget there's a couple of things. Now this is going to be a dielectric union, right? So there's going to be a nut here. So I don't know if you guys can see that. Oh, 
but what we want to do, you got your plastic and nut here. Slide them over. Yeah, pipe's still warm. I'm getting a little rambunctious. That's okay. Now what we're gonna do is um uh, no, that's later. Uh, it's gonna have to hold it up. Yeah, we could use, oh yeah, we're going to do that. Um, so right now we're waiting for this to cool. Sorry guys. Let's see what's going on. It's real fun trying to video at the same time as doing this. Gotta have patience in this gig. Anyway, it's pretty hot still. Okay. Now, well, it's just going to hold that up out of the way. So we cleaned this already. We're going to double check that. And this is going to be under pressure, so we got to get this right. Now remember, this is our expansion tank. Uh, we're doing this dielectric to separate the copper from the iron 